This is something I don't see being talked about nearly enough when it comes to housing. You're probably aware that in the last two years, home values have taken off. Massive equity gain. And yes, this is in part because we've been undersupplied for years. Plus people deciding to move during the pandemic or invest in Airbnbs only for the reduced inventory. We get a steady stream of articles like this, like you crazy capitalists, you, you should have known better. You did this to yourself. But what I don't see so much of is laying the responsibility of all this market mania at the Fed's feet. A big part of the Fed's job is to either stimulate or slow down the economy. And the way that they do this is raising and lowering the Fed funds rate. See, the Fed fund rate was already low in 2019, and it should have probably been raised higher sooner, but there was an election coming up and increasing rates is not so popular. When the pandemic hit to try to keep the economy from tanking, the Fed lowered the Fed funds rate to zero and kept it there and kept it there, even though the economy was rebounding relatively quickly. In addition, the Fed purchased $2.7 trillion in mortgage-backed securities, bonds, specifically to keep mortgage interest low. And considering that real estate is the way that most Americans build wealth, the net worth gap just got that much wider between homeowners and renters. Simply put, the overheating of the housing market is due to the Fed's policies. If the Fed wanted to stimulate the economy, keep things going, why didn't they pick an investment that would benefit the economy at large instead of focusing on housing, which was already tight? Why give a financial break to only around two thirds of Americans?